That's a pretty interesting opening. I really like it. Anyway, welcome back, you guys. Y'all know who it is. It's Dashiro. We're back here with the Simon Num Num, Num, Num Files. Uh, last we left off. Uh, where did we last leave off? Oh, yeah. Uh, our, our best friend died. We were with the Yakuza. Um... I know we left Mizuki at a bar with the person that we shall not speak or no, uh, with the person who they call Mama. So yeah, let's get back into it. Let's, let's figure out what happens in the story. Come, wait, yeah, this one. But it's time to get back in here and figure out what happened to my friend. What is this? Oh, this is like a recap? Yeah, that's where he died. That's the street with a bar. There's Mama. Uh, this, this, oh yeah, that guy with the Yakuza goons. The Yakuza goons. Okay. Yeah, Moma. And then the ball, with the, the dragon with the golden ball. Okay. Yeah, they're still dead. Yeah, okay. So where we going? Then let me skate. How's we going here again? Oh, wait, does that mean we get to see the receptionist with the huge breast again? Ooh, already going off with a good start. This oh, wait, is all really it. suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree. But I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Yes, we do. Oh! Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Why are you in the passenger seat? Are you like a hologram or did you just pop out of my eye? Alright, well, since it's Aiba, we might get some dumb dialogue. Let's see. Steering wheel. No? Dashboard. What? I get nothing. Glove box. Aw, oh, I was hoping we would get something. What about gear shift? No? Uh, okay. Alright, Aiba. <laughs> what? Okay, s scream like a little girl, roar like a lion, warn carefully. Alright, let me hear you roar. Do the roar. Ah! Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? Jellyfish. So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? <laughs> Mizuki? It's me. <laughs> Boss. Date, seriously. Yo, this man Date is on something serious. Then are you mom? Idiot. Oh wait, did I hit you warn her by accident? Your dosage too much. Dosage? dosage? Dosage of what? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here? What? Looking like that. He's all fast, he's switched up. I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Hmm. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. <laughs> you do realize I do that all the time, right? Oh. Okay. Oh man, I wanted the other options. Scream like a little girl. Oh well. Um. So off topic about your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? Insomnia, What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnia form and another form. Oh, this? Yeah, the little teddy bear. Form. Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so. Huh? What? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. Oh. If you could do that, change it. I uh. will not. <laughs> Why not? Because I won't. Oh, this man Date trying to get horny over his left eyeball. Ew. You hear how nasty that sounds? Anyway. I'm gonna have to get used to this look. I mean, she's kinda cute. But, you know. 
I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. Second form is called. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. That's not a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. <laughs> it's like a. It's not a haircut. It's more of a. Um, I guess like a surgery, like when people get like their nose fixed, or like you know, the butt transplants, where you get a bigger butt. Stuff like that. All right. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious. But there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Nope. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling. And the left eye is taken. God damn it. We <laughs> still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Tsujima and the Kumakuras. Disloyal, you say? They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. No, Yakuza usually that just the current evidence. cut off. Well, no, there wasn't a Yakuza. Mm, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. Because if you're in the Yakuza, and you, if you fuck up, you uh, cut like your pinky or your thumb for forgiveness. The Yakuza, does Yakuza really put people on display? I'm trying to think. Because I played the Yakuza series, and I can't remember if they put a civilian on display for being disloyal. I want to say they did. I know they came after you if you, like, mess with their business, or if you just mess with them. They would, like, cut you down. Like, for Kaizuma, they was like, yo, that's, that's the fourth chairman. Kill him. He's gonna ruin our plans. And Cosmos is like, I'm just trying to live a peaceful life and y'all keep messing everything up. Anyway. I looked into that. Look at that face over there. Oh my god. I see. I just wanna However, punch it again. I did discover some rumors on the internet. Reddit? Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Is it from Reddit? Please. Or is it for Twitter? Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. Really? He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. Jesus Christ. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. Oh, the explosion, explosion incident? The chemical plant. Yeah, I remember that. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically. To less than one thirtieth their original value. Oh, so that price dropped. Hmm. What are your thoughts? So you saying I can live at a house? The timing like is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just two hundred yen before it happened. There is another interesting fact. What's that? After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. See what I mean? So he's got twenty-nine billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Oh, you're in phone call. Uh, we will have to continue this conversation later. Okay. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Hey, boss. Is this special agent Dante from oh. this? My name is Akaska from HQ. Yo, is that Jiraiya? I'm investigating the show code. Hey, Dante. what's up, Jiraiya? You need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. Fuchu Prisoner? You saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Hey, right, Jiraiya. Don't go fight the pains. Here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? 
I know who killed Shogun Adami. And Ooh. if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. He already He'll has. Dry while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. Ooh. I'll be seeing you. Okay. Well, this has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's uh, why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Thanks, Jiraiya. Good luck. You're always love. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know, but it's our only lead for right now. I don't know. Might as well, might as well see what he's saying. Could be true, could not be true. Could be a setup. Get out and he stabs me. Let me set. Or was it? Let me skate. Oh my God! Why oh, are you still here? Date. Are you still What's mad wrong? at me? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Oh, did the heiress leave yeah. you? I just found out online. Found out what online? Corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah, was. It was. So why is it bothering you? So that was Mizuki's mom. Oh. Mizuki saw her own mom. Yeah. And I just, I just left her. Yeah. You did. But I didn't know. It's okay. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. Well. Now you know. I want to apologize to her. Um, I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Not now. She's in the hospital. Or going Oh my god, she's back. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> hey. You wanna get some food sometime? Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. I was just asking you. You're a nice male. Type, aren't you? I yes. kinda like that. Ooh. I might get lucky. And I kinda like you. Ooh, putting the moves on her. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. Oh, don't tell me you're a man. I'm a reptilian. Yeah, what? Is that going to be a problem? A reptilian? What's a reptilian? Yeah, what is that? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human oh, form. Oh, she's an alien? Yeah, that is definitely gonna be a problem. Wait, no, what does she oh, too bad. What does she actually look like though? The girl <laughs> The girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter. Yes, that's what I have decided to call her. Not to her face, of course. Hey, girl with the big tits. Oh Um, excuse me? I wasn't expecting Shit, that. I said your face. <laughs> I want to run away and never <laughs> look back. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Woo. Woo! The girl with the big tits is behind the counter. Is he gonna do it again? Okay. Um. Even though you're an alien, you're you're kind of. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Let me use that line. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I should be like I'm 400 I can or something. Get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. 36? That's not old. You're kidding. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. I'm trying to speak in here. As you see, it can work, and unlike you, you're trying to get with a 16 year old, you 24 year old. Where have you been? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. Oh. I don't know your normal routine. Please don't say. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. And like, I ate some ramen at Joe's, and then like, headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. Oh. You know, normal. That's not normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know anything. 
I'm there. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. <laughs> Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. He knows something. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Squicking. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. Mm. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Hey. Wait, it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. <laughs> hey. Anyway, back to you. So we be talking Last about this case I was walking over to in front of her. Pocket, and what I if she's the killer? Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Is he lying? Someone was with him. A man. A man. A woman. No, oh, he's green. A woman. Um. Oh, yep. It was a woman. Okay, was he look. cheating on his wife? I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got Ooh. it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. Thank God for Iris. Right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Are they... Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. Hey, you, you need to stop putting don't her know, on a pedestal. You don't know what people Tessa do behind closed doors. Tessa is safer to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. That's the online persona. You don't know her. Well, you know her personally a little bit, but I don't think you know her on that level. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't <clears throat> published anything. Maybe like that. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. That you like young girls. You don't have to care what people think, you know? No. If yeah, that's you do it. your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. Okay. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. She might be, because I think she's on the cover of the game. So she's uh she's she's related to the story somehow. I just don't know what. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. Do it for her. Anyway, back to you. There's Iris. Iris? You mean Asa? Yeah. She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Okay. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. Do it. No, it's fine. Oh. This can wait until she's done. Can't believe the receptionist got some lines. What do you got going on over here? Oh, Monitor. that's room to wear. What? Who is that? <laughs> Who's Rundor? Alright, we got any other random shenanigans? How to get rich with cryptocurrency. Hey, that's our society today. Bitcoin. High table. That's just a high stool. What about high school? I, I said, said the same. I tell you, said the same thing. I mean, it was like high school. Oh, she's getting turned on again. Yay! A stink bug! Iba has a tendency to get excited about bugs. That is true. Don't know why, but I'm glad it makes her happy. One more bowl, please. What? That would be soba. <laughs> oh. 
how you get Soba confused as Sofa. Oh my god. There's a window. There's a door. There's probably an office back there. Plant. Um, the logo. There's a vent. Alright, what is this painting? You know this painting? That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. What? Why is it called that? <coughs> oh my god! That's the reception desk. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? You guess. I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. Ooh. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. Hmm. What happened? What's wrong with your face? Hey. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Hmm? I'm not asking you on a date because you're 16. I don't know how old Date is. Let's probably check his records. Let me see. Oh, wait, no, this is a cutscene. I can't do that right now. Hey, boss. Alright, it's question time. Interrogation. Oh, I can't mess this up now. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. But before you do that, we're going to try to see how old Date is. Hey, he's 30. Okay. Alright, cool. He's 30. He's 30. Alright. Please answer honestly. Please. However, tell that. you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. No. I'm just looking for the truth. And I would about appreciate the truth. all about the truth. Boss. There's a camera. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. It is later saved permanently on our servers. Good. You can remotely control it as well. I can. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna just face the stairs. Alright. What was that? Our mirror? Yeah. The small room on the other side. I know about that. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get serious here. Oof. Um. Do you have an alibi for last night? When did you find Ryuji was killed? You used to work at Sunfish Pocket. Is Ulta's story true? Let's go with the alibi. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. She might be lying pretty good. There is no good. noticeable rise in Iris' body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. She's just we good at it. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. She, she's a on, well, she's an online model. Her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Mm -hmm. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. Okay. There is another possibility. <clears throat> Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean? What? Well, how? What? Alright, hang on. I don't want fuck up. I, I, I don't want to screw up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna save some files. Alright. Did you used to work there? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. Is that true? That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Yeah, about the camera. What about the surveillance anything? camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? God damn it. When did you find out Renju was killed? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? 
You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Uh, Is that something you're supposed to do? Ears? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... I'm gonna slap If I went you. to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? No, it wouldn't. Girl, I will slap you. <clears throat> Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. Oh, good shit. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. So she might be telling the, so she's telling the truth. Okay. So what was you doing? Was you, you know, fooling around? What were you doing with Renju? Or was you guys just playing Uno? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? Uh-oh. He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He hmm. said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. But I've you never have done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. Alright, so what did you do? Afterwards. What did you do after you turned him down? He just left. I left with Mr. Ogira. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. Mm. And after that? I asked Mr. Ogira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iba? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Wait, hang on. Didn't she say something? Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no. No, 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 no. Did she say something? Okay, what are we doing? Seven around nine last night? Seven and nine? She said she was home the whole time. And, okay. Human memory is ambiguous. Okay. She ain't say nothing to slip up yet. Exact times leads me to be suspicious. It is really exact. That's true. Like, how do you know? Like, most people don't know the exact time I got home. They'd be like, oh, what time did you get home? And it's like, I don't know. It was around this time. Like, you have an exact time, then you know something that happened. And then plus something is going on. Because look at her. She can't even look at me. If you're not guilty, then uh, you shouldn't have a problem staring at my face. Isn't that right? myself anyway I'll ask again you are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday yes can I ask your mother about your alibi you can but there'd be no point why is that my mom was at home she came back home early this morning this morning yeah where was she I don't know you don't know come to think of it Iris's mom had connections to <clears throat> Renju too. Everybody does. Who Hitomi killed my best friend? Mentioned that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. Mm. We've known each other for twenty years now. It told me. Everybody However, suspe we have suspect. To link her to the case. All right, fire. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? She was like, you and my daughter, you bastard. And he killed him. 